Tonight, life behind bars for a man accused of murdering his three-year-old daughter and slashing his 12-year-old's throat. Today, the suspect, Juan Bravo Torres, pleaded guilty to first-degree premeditated murder and attempted first-degree premeditated murder. News 6's Catherine Silver is live now with more from the emotional hearing today. Catherine. As part of his plea, Juan Bravo Torres was asked a series of questions from prosecutors to explain what he did and why, which led to him explaining for the very first time a motive for the attack. I'm silly. He was out of love. 39-year-old Juan Bravo Torres wept while describing, with the help of a translator, what unfolded inside his home in Longwood in July. Uh, the, the last second in the kitchen, I couldn't bear it, leaving them. He says feelings of his family falling apart led him to kill his three-year-old daughter, Ava, and attempting to kill his 12-year-old, Elena. His wife was having an affair. He discovered it. He did not want the children to be with another man. His attorney speaking after Bravo Torres changed his plea to guilty for both first-degree murder and attempted murder charges. How do you please, sir? Guilty. The defense credits the victim's family for reaching a deal. I had learned that the family was strongly against the death penalty, and that's why I approached the state to see if we could resolve it with a life plea. There is no reason for something so cruel to be done. The girl's mother emotional while addressing the court. My hope is that Juan can find peace. She says she does not want her and her surviving children to hate their father. Que Dios no perdón. And may God forgive you. The little girl's mother also said she did not want her 12-year-old to have to go through a trial as the sole eyewitness. Longwood police say that she escaped the, the attack and walked nearly a mile to a McDonald's where her mother worked to get help. Her brother was not home at the time. A letter from him was read out loud in court today. He says he still loves his dad. I'm live in Seminole County. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6. Catherine, thank you.